Welcome to part four in our eight part series on podium application entry best practice. In this session, we'll be looking at the simulation and comparison tool, which as you'll notice by the screen looks different from what you currently have. What we're going to be looking at is the, is the new interface uh, for simulation and comparison, which will be made available to all users as of the 14th of September. So what, what I'm going to show you here is very similar to what we would normally do in the simulation and comparison tool. Um, I have no scenarios added at the moment and there is nothing else as I can scroll for me to do at this point until I add products. So I pop up here to the right hand side, add from shortlist, click on that. I've got three here. There's my base variable home loan for NAB. I've also got a five year fixed which uh, our application for Thomas Ferris is interested in fixed as well, and also the Rocket Home Loan from Westpac. I'm gonna tick them all. And just like in product search, I can, by clicking the view product details, I can view the three products here side by side. So at this point, I'm just going to click on done. And all three products will now appear, the scenarios two, three, and four. What you will notice is it looks a little bit uh, different in terms of layout. Before we had the the options for editing and cloning uh, on the uh, right hand side here, but now if I click on the little drop down box here, they're all in there together with a split loan option. I'll show you that shortly. But what we're going to focus on at the moment is editing our products. So I'm going to edit the first one here. So I'm going to change the loan amount to 500. Repayments are set there at about two and a half. Um, if I wanted to change anything here, so what I might do is change the fee. So I click on modify and now it gives me the warning that I'm changing an off the shelf product like it did before. I can then click here and get rid of the fee, but I can also click in the rate uh, by clicking on the pencil button here. Uh, so if I, I'm not going to change this one, but if I click on it, then it becomes available for me to do a change of rate. We're all done. So I'll scroll back down and now I'll click on done. <clears throat> what you'll see now is the amount has now changed to 500. I want to do the same for the Westpac, 500,000. I'm gonna scroll down. At this point, I'm not gonna change it, but what I'm gonna do is change it to make it more, more comparable to the NAB product, but I'm going to adjust it, but I will show you how I will do that in a moment. I'll scroll down the bottom, I'll click on done, And now I've got my two products here. I'm not going to tick on this one. I don't want to compare them at the moment. I'm just going to compare the two variable rate loans against each other. So now I can scroll down and I've got my two products there. And you'll see as we, we thought the Westpac product would be way out because of the rate. Um, if I wanted to uh, run a copy of this off, the print function now sits here on the left hand, on the right left hand side, sorry. Um, whereas before it was up the top up here with the remaining uh, with the other functions where print normally is. So I can go in here and I can look. If I go down further, I get the comparison. And what you'll notice here is, remember before we have recommend and preferred, they were little boxes on the left-hand side that you would tick. Recommend goes through to the preliminary assessment and preferred is the one that best suits the customer's requests. So we're gonna make sure these two go through into, into the recommend. So it's just come up recommended now. Now this one will come up recommended here as well, but I haven't picked a preferred at this point. So it would appear that, that NAB based on, just purely on rate at the moment, there could be other things that our borrower wants 
that are more appropriate in the Westpac product than the NAB, but just for the moment, we're ticking it through as preferred. So the NAB product will now go through into uh, the credit proposal disclosure. The other functions that are previously in our simulation comparison, the amortisation tables, transaction reports are all down a bit lower. Uh, so you can access those if you want. We're not going to for the moment. As I said to you before, we can see the Westpac products way out, um, particularly on rate. And as, as we have previously um, educated brokers on how to use this um, simulation comparison function to get better value proposition for yourself, what we will do is we want to clone this Westpac product. Now we're cloning it as a scenario because what we want to do is demonstrate to a borrower how you, the broker, can add value to them and you want to compare it to the other Westpac product here, which is the standard off the shelf, which would assume that is what the Westpac branches would provide and other brokers. But what you can do is now uh, provide a Westpac Rocket Repay Home Loan with a pricing discount. So how do we do that again? We jump across to the right hand side, click on edit. The product will open up for us. And then we'll come down here and we will go modify. We're changing it off the shelf, so okay. Now I can get rid of the fees. We've managed to negotiate a good scenario there. I'll also get rid of the monthly fee. But what I also want to do is the rate. Now click on the pencil and we're going to get 4.25 now for this product. We'll click it done. You see the repayment has adjusted as well. And then we'll go down the bottom to done. Now, assuming that the Westpac product was something that our borrower wanted or liked the features of and therefore wanted to compare with more appropriately lined rates with the NAB product, we now have that. So what I can do is rather than compare the 5.24, which I can, what I would do is I'm going to remove this scenario here, I do not want to compare the fixed rate one at the moment, just those three. So if I scroll down, this is how I've got it. This is the NAB product. <clears throat> this is the old Westpac product with the higher interest rate on it. And this is a Westpac product that I can have negotiated and able, am now able to provide to the customer. So I've clearly saved the customer. Uh, it would appear to be over $100,000 in terms of interest, purely because of my bargaining power as a broker with this customer. So I've got some immediate value add for the customer. All right, what I might do, I'll, I could print that off as a PDF if I wanted, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here and what I want to do is eliminate the higher priced Westpac product. So I don't want that anymore. But we've managed to um, get an answer from our customer and they want a split loan on the NAB product. So how are we going to do that? Firstly, I have to make sure that my products, the two NAB ones, the loan amounts are correct. So for the variable rate, I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to make sure the repayment for variable is 100,000. The repayment has adjusted. I'm not playing with the rate at all. I'm just going to simply go on done. And you'll see when we revert back to the screen that the, the first NAB product has been adjusted. I now want to amend the fixed rate for five years. So I go here, edit. And what I want to do is change this loan amount to 400,000. Again, the repayments have all adjusted. Scroll down to the bottom, click on done.
now I have 100,000 and 400, and I've got the 500 there. That's the one I don't want, so I'm going to remove that one again. But what I want to do now is link these two NAB ones together. So I can simply go either to here and split. So this is number one, and it's going. I want to link it to scenario four, which is the other NAB product. When it all comes back now, very simply, my NAB product has been linked together as one scenario, total amount 400 and plus the 100 is five. So it is comparable. Um, again, I'm gonna remove the 5.24 and compare it to my edited product. So it's more comparable. Gonna scroll down here again, and I'm gonna see how I go. So number three, is the NAB, number four is Westpac. And you'll see now that with the inclusion of the fixed rate product, which has got a 4.79 interest rate, the scenario becomes a little bit different for the customer, for the NAB. Whereas the Westpac one here, with the one rate on the loan amount, uh, is a certainly a better proposition in terms of costs over the term of the loan. So what I would do here now is scroll down here, I've got two choices. I've got my NAB one here. I want that to come through on to, and I'll get a scenario. It'll come up as recommended there. And I want to make the Westpac one come through as recommended as well. That'll change there. But now I have the choice of preferred. Not purely from, purely from the perspective that it is a $94,000 saving. I'm going to tick that as the preferred. And now it will flow through into the credit proposal disclosure. So remember again, all the other functions are down the bottom of the page, uh, rather than tabs across the page. It's simply a scroll up and down now to manage uh, this functionality. So on that basis, that is our new simulation and comparison tool. Um, again, effective from the 14th of September. Um, the next part in our video is part five, which is 2.4, which is the loan worksheet. So I look forward to you clicking on and looking at that video. And for now, we will end the webinar. Thank you.